Hi and welcome back to Victoria Feels Good and thank you for joining me in Venice. Today I'm going to give you some wonderful tips on how to get a beach body in 30 days. So stay tuned. Hi guys, so firstly, if you want to maintain a slimmer physique, you need to adopt a more active and healthier lifestyle. There are no shortcuts. It's about being consistent and maintaining a healthy diet and exercise routine. Whatever your shape or size, you'll feel amazing knowing you're your best version. Here are a few tips to get you on the right path. Okay guys, so the first thing you'll need to do is count your calorie intake. So for example, if you're consuming 2,600 calories a day, you'll need to cut back to 2,200. How much you reduce your daily intake depends on your average consumption. As a guideline, I would recommend reducing by 400 calories a day. This amounts to a whopping 2,800 a week. There's an average of 380 calories in a chocolate muffin and a slice of pizza has around 200 calories. Beware of hidden sugar in soft drinks and cereals as these really are empty calories and will slow your weight loss progress. Ensure most of your consumed calories are made up of lean proteins, vegetables and good fats. I'll do a future post of what I consume in a day. Now I know this is a tough one. Who doesn't like chocolate muffin or a slice of pizza? Carbohydrate converts into sugar and your body will fuel off the energy provided by the carbohydrates and sugar you consume. When you cut back on your carbohydrates and sugars, your body will turn to your fat storage for energy instead, meaning you'll lose body fat. Sugar is addictive but your cravings will reduce over time. If you must give in to temptation, then perhaps reach for some good quality dark chocolate with 70% cocoa and limit your treats to once a week, once you know you've earned it. Yes, you knew this was coming, exercise more. If you don't currently have an exercise regime, then walk. Walk everywhere, walk to work, walk to see your friends, walk to see your family, walk to the shops, walk everywhere. And if you're already working out, fantastic. Keep doing what you're doing and incorporate some body weight training, i.e. lifting weights or body weight exercises. I would advise you invest in one of the many gadgets that monitor your daily burned calories to check your progress. Alcohol has many hidden calories, but you know this, right? A beer has around 180 calories and a gin and tonic has around 150 calories. These are empty calories and will hamper your weight loss progression. You will also feel sluggish after a big night of drinking and you won't want to exercise, which will again hamper your progress. Focus on your goals and treat yourself to a drink when you're on holiday looking your best. You'll thank yourself later. Intermittent fasting is a great way for you to reduce your calorie consumption and give your body time to release toxins. There's lots of research out there promoting its benefits, so I'd advise you to do your own research and speak to a nutritionist first. For me personally, I feel more energized and enjoy my meals more. Try eating between the commonly used eight hour window between 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. and ensure you consume all your macronutrients in that time. 
It really isn't that difficult, but if you do find it a struggle, that's okay. Maybe have fewer intermittent fasting days or have a larger eating window of nine hours at a time that works for you. As with any plan, results will differ person to person. Play around with it, find what works for you and stick with it. And if you're seeking drastic weight loss, then consult a doctor first.